So Greg Harwood, CEO of Fairfax, gets 7.2 million paid to him last year in 2016. Last week he got another 200 and actually 2.4 million paid to him. But this week's been really exciting because the entire workforce of the SMH and the age have gone out on strike. Why? Because Greg, the guy who got the 7 million, has actually decided to take 30 million out of the company. And to do that, he's going to sack one in four journalists. That is 125 journalists. And when you look at the alternative from Fairfax, we've got News Corp. So So what are we worried about, right? So speaking of Rupert Murdoch, he's just finished Which playing. Which we always are. He's just finished playing the Darth Lord from, you know, Star yeah. Wars. Turnbull, our Prime Minister, has tea with the uh, Dark Lord, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it's lovely tea, obviously, because what happens at the end of that tea? They decide to put... Turnbull and Rupert Murdoch have decided that they need to change Australia's media ownership laws again. So previously, Rupert Murdoch used to own Channel 10. He had to give that up to become mm, a US citizen. So bad. And go over and take over their media. Sucks to be them. <laughs> Actually, it sucks to be us. Now he wants it back again. One of the changes to the law will be the 75% audience reach law, which means Rupert Murdoch will now be able to own more than 75% of the audience. And that kind of dollars is really going to buy a lot of politicians, especially come election time when they'll be able to pretty much... Yeah, well, you, you know what the Daily Telegraph was like last time. You know the Australian is actually just a propaganda pamphlet. And Channel 10 is such a basket case. Actually, it's going out backwards, so maybe we don't have to worry about it. But it basically means Rupert gets to own everything. And if, if you missed it as well last week, um, Mark Zuckerberg came out and admitted that Facebook did have a, an effect on the election. He's realised that news, fake news and... and opinion pieces that are put out through videos on Facebook did have a massive impact on the Gosh, election. Gosh, how did he realise that? He also admitted that foreign governments can fund fake news in and affect elections. So potentially, like the idea of having your own media is pretty important for a country, maybe independent media ownership, mm. you know, especially when it comes to democracies. Okay, so we can laugh about this, but the, the upshot of it is that Fairfax is on its knees because it's been plundered and been led really appallingly for the last decade. News Limited is a basket, should be a basket case, except the kind of dark lord keeps kind of getting favours. And meanwhile, the rest of us are actually consuming our news through Facebook and it turns out it's fake. Well, most of it, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank God for the ABC. So Fairfax is back at work now, and I would just say, if you've ever thought that independent, great journalism was worth having, subscribe to Fairfax. hate to say it. We're going to have to pay for it if we want it. And The Guardian, perhaps. Sign up for The Guardian. Actually, while we're here, crikey, new Matilda. Basically, if okay. you read it, buy it. And like us. Yeah, because we're cute. No one funds us. <laughs> Hadn't you noticed? Don't fact check us because we make it up. We make it up as we go along. Sometimes we don't even make it up. Just use Google like we did.